In 2011, I took a week-long vacation to Costa Rica. This is a video of my travels in Malpais and surrounding area with a stop off in Tamarindo. All of the information might be a little bit outdated, but I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Malpais is a relaxed surf town at the southwest tip of the Nicoya Peninsula. It's touristy enough that you can find every convenience you might need, but hasn't been built up to the level of more well-known surf towns like Hako or Tamarindo. stretches along one long road that's lined with shops, restaurants, houses, and hotels. You can find both high-end resorts and extremely affordable hostels and everything in between. This time I stayed in between at Tropico Latino, which has a lot of variety in itself from standard garden rooms to beachfront private suites, all of which have access to the lush tropical grounds that include a restaurant and a pool with a view of the ocean. No matter where you are at this hotel, you can hear the waves crashing and the beach area was definitely my favorite part. The beach is sprawling and not jam-packed like other areas of Costa Rica. It's especially gorgeous to be able to sit back and enjoy a Costa Rican sunset right at your hotel. There's a lot of fun towns and beaches to visit in this area of the Nicoya Peninsula. On this trip, I only went to Montezuma, which is a small, for lack of a better word, hippie town on the east side of the peninsula. The organic food and juice bars are plentiful, and any time of day you can find vendors selling their handmade goods along the beach and roads. I've never actually stayed in Montezuma, but I've eaten at the unique Yelang Yelang Resort many times. There's no roads to the resort, and the only way to get there is to walk along the beach. On this trip, I also visited a little waterfall just outside of Montezuma. You might also get monkey entertainment at the trailhead. It's a pretty easy hike, but me stupidly wearing flip-flops on the slippery rocks made it more difficult. You can swim and dive at your own risk once you get there. Since this was only a week vacation, I pretty much just relaxed for most of it, and of course ate as much as possible. Food is one of my favorite parts of traveling. After chilling at Malpais for a week, I headed back to the Liberia airport to stay in Tamarindo for a day. Driving in Costa Rica is pretty easy. You will find rough roads here and there and might have to cross rivers depending on where you go, but people are friendly and willing to help where they can. They might lead you astray saying you can drive to your destination along a beach when there actually is a giant river that you can't cross, but more friendly people will be there to help you find your path. And it was pretty fun cruising on the beach. Tamarindo is much more built up and full of tourists compared to Malpais. It's only an hour's drive from the Liberia airport, so it's easily accessible. It's known as a surf town, but the best surfing is actually just north or south of the city. With only a day, I couldn't do much, but I always make sure I have breakfast at Nogis. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but I called it Nogis the first time I went, and now I can't call it anything else. With so many businesses open and closed in Tamarindo, Nogis has been a constant for a while, and it's right on the beach. I chose to walk down and spend the day at Playa Langosta, which is very close and a much better beach than Tamarindo in my opinion. But soon it was time to go and I had to let another sun set on my time in Costa Rica. If you want to see more of my travel adventures and reviews, hit the subscribe button and follow along.